Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Dr. Amal Bhan. Today, we're going to talk about a crucial micronutrient, vitamin A. We'll cover its benefits, different forms, and the potential risks of overconsumption. There's a lot of misinformation out there, so let's clear things up. Let's get started. Vitamins and minerals, often referred to as micronutrients, are vital for maintaining a range of normal bodily functions. Our bodies can synthesize these essential nutrients, so we need to get them from our diet. However, there's a common misconception that consuming large quantities of vitamins is beneficial. It's important to remember that all vitamins can be toxic in excess amounts, especially those that belong to the fat-soluble group, such as vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Excess water-soluble vitamins can be excreted through urine, and hence their toxicity is limited. This vital nutrient belongs to a group of lipid-soluble compounds known as retinoic acids. Beta-carotene is one of the two clinically significant forms, the other being preformed vitamin A. Vitamin A is indispensable for several critical bodily functions. It helps maintain good vision, especially in low-light conditions, by supporting the formation of a component of the visual pigment rhodopsin. Additionally, it supports cell division and differentiation, essential for growth, development, and tissue repair. Vitamin A also plays a role in reproductive health and is vital for the proper functioning of the immune system. Vitamin A exists in two primary forms, preformed vitamin A and provitamin A carotenoids. Preformed vitamin A found in animal-based foods like liver includes retinol, retinal, retinoic acid, and retinyl esters. Provitamin A carotenoids found in plant-based foods like carrots and sweet potatoes are converted into active vitamin A in the body. Beta-carotene is the most well-known provitamin A carotenoid. Despite its essential roles, excessive intake of preformed vitamin A can lead to toxicity. There are three recognized syndromes, acute, chronic, and teratogenic. Let's break these down. Acute vitamin A toxicity occurs when an individual consumes over 100,000 retinol activity equivalents within a short period, often from supplements or high-dose medications, this results in toxicity. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, irritability, blurred vision, and muscular incoordination. It's rare and more likely to result from synthetic forms of vitamin A, like isotretinoin. Chronic vitamin A toxicity is associated with prolonged ingestion of excessive vitamin A, typically exceeding 8,000 ray per day. This can develop from consuming large quantities of animal-based foods, rich in preformed vitamin A or prolonged use of high-dose supplements. Symptoms include dry, cracked skin, hair loss, brittle nails, fatigue, loss of appetite, bone and joint pain, and hepatomegaly. Hypertriglyceridemia is the most common laboratory abnormality associated with oral retinoid use. Excessive vitamin A consumption during pregnancy has been linked to congenital malformations including abnormalities in the central nervous system, cardiac issues, craniofacial deformities, limb abnormalities, and urinary tract disorders. This makes it essential for pregnant women to be cautious with vitamin A supplements. Vitamin A is a vital nutrient necessary for vision, cell function, reproduction, and immunity. But remember that only small quantities are required for our health. While it's essential for health, excessive consumption of preformed vitamin A can lead to serious health issues. Populations heavily reliant on liver-based food sources rich in vitamin A, such as polar bear liver and chicken liver, face an increased risk of vitamin A toxicity. In most patients who discontinue the source of excess vitamin A, toxicity symptoms gradually reverse and complete recovery is expected. So please do not take vitamin A supplements unless there is a real deficiency and consultation with the doctor is always recommended. Severe cases can have serious consequences. Remember, prolonged and excessive vitamin A intake can result in significant organ damage, including the liver, bones, central nervous system, and skin. Always take enough vegetables like carrots and sweet potato to avoid deficiency. Understanding the benefits and risks associated with vitamin A can help in making informed dietary choices that support overall health without the risk of toxicity. It's important to consume these micronutrients in appropriate amounts through a balanced diet. Pregnant women should refrain from using oral retinoid medications and excessive vitamin A supplements to mitigate the risk of vitamin A-related malformations. Always remember that natural food sources are preferable to supplements because the body has an inherent ability to prevent unwanted absorption, except in cases of overeating. Please do not go for supplements unless you have a deficiency. 
Thank you for watching. We hope this video has helped you understand the importance of vitamin A and the potential risks of overconsumption. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more health tips and information. Stay healthy and see you in the next video. Remember, your health is your wealth. Take care and stay informed.